Greetings and welcome to Temple Baptist Church in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. For a number of days now, we've been looking at Psalm 139, a psalm of David as he compares the one true living God with all the idols that we find in the world around us. He certainly had uh, many nations that were serving idols in his day. And so he just lifted up a praise to the Lord for being uh, the one true living God, the God who is everywhere present. We can't go anywhere and be outside the protection and the provision of God. It's the God who created us, as we talked about uh, yesterday. And so today, uh, I want us to begin there in verse 17 of Psalm 139, and listen to what he says. How precious are your thoughts toward me, O God. How great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they would be more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. The Lord never leaving us. The Lord thinking about us today. I was looking for a card recently for a particular situation, and as I went through my desk drawer and I found happy birthday cards and get well cards and happy anniversary cards and Christmas cards, uh, none of those really uh, were appropriate for what I was trying to do. And finally, I found a card who had been uh, drawn and colored by uh, an inmate in a prison, and uh, those cards had come my way. And I noticed there, there was one and it said, thinking of you. That was exactly what I was looking for. I wanted that person to know that I thought enough of them. I appreciated them enough that I was just thinking about them, thinking good thoughts, thinking about the good times that we had shared together, thinking about how much I appreciated them. And so that phrase, thinking of you, was just the perfect card for me to send that person on that particular situation. Listen to what the Bible says here again, the psalmist praising the Lord and saying, how precious also are your thoughts to me, O God. It's almost as if the psalmist is saying, wow, Lord, you are God. We have just talked about in the uh, verses prior to this one in Psalm 139 of how good God is to us, of how big God is. Lord, you have known me. You know me so well, you know how many hairs that I have in my head. Uh, Lord, your right hand, that strength, that power that you have to pro provide and protect me, uh, that is such an awesome thought. And so, Lord, this big God that you are, and yet you are thinking about me. What an awesome God we serve. He says it another way in Psalm chapter 8, in verses 3, in the beginning of verse 4. Listen to what he says. When I consider your heavens, when I consider the work of your fingers, when I consider the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him? The psalmist says, I look up and I see all the things that you've created. And I think about the glory that you have. You've created everything that is out of nothing at all. You've set our universe in order. And, and if anything goes off the nth degree, uh, we'll either be frozen to death or burned to death or thrown uh, off of the earth or uh, slammed down so hard into the center of the earth. And yet, Lord, you take care of every one of those things. That's how powerful you are. You have such important things to do, God, and yet, you are thinking of me today. The psalmist could hardly believe that such a great, awesome God would have a desire or would have the time to think about him. And yet that's exactly what he does. And I want to encourage you with today that if, if God was thinking about the psalmist in the day of David, God is thinking about you and me today. The God who made all of the heavens, who made all of the earth, who made everything that is out of nothing at all. The God who set things in order and then keeps his finger on the pulse of everything going on every day. This God is mindful of you today. He's thoughtful of you. And listen to what the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. It talks about the thoughts that God has for us. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. God is thinking good thoughts toward us today. 
God's desire is to give us a great future if we will accept his will for our lives. And then listen to the thoughts that he thinks toward us. He says, the sum of them is great. If I should be able to count all the good things you're thinking toward us, they would be more in number than the sand of the earth. I'm not much of a mathematician. My brother got that gift. I certainly did not. But one scientist calculated the grains of sand upon the earth. Guess how many there are? Now, I don't know what went into his calculation. I don't know how real this calculation is. But in his assessment, there are seven quintillion, five hundred quadrillion grains of sand on the earth. That amounts to 7.5 times 10 to the 18th power. I don't have a clue about that, but all I know, it's a lot. And God's thoughts for you are a lot. He thinks of you all the time. Whatever it is you're going through today that may bring you anxiety, please don't forget God's thinking thoughts of you today. He'll be thinking thoughts of you when you go to bed and are asleep tonight because the Bible says he never sleeps nor slumbers. And David says, yet when I awoke, I was still with you. It's more like God was still with us. His thoughts for you are good. If you'll just accept his will for your life, you will be wowed with the abundance that God desires to place in your life. A lot of good thoughts coming your way by the God of heaven. Oh, what a God we serve. How good. Father, thank you for loving us. Thank you for thinking of us. Who are we, Lord, compared to you that you would think anything about us? And yet, Lord, we are always on your heart and mind. Thank you for loving us that much. Encourage someone with that fact today. We'll ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Don't forget, you're on God's mind today.